Hey y'all, this is Jeffrey with Morrison Made, and today we're gonna to be adding a zipper to my leather tote. I picked up this hide from Weaver. It's Herman Oaks Premium Expedition 1881 leather. So it's 100% vegetable tanned, and it has a built-in weather resistant, meaning it's waterproof, which is pretty cool. It's got this tumble texture, and it's, it's just a beautiful overall leather. It's pretty soft, four to five ounce, but I love it. So I start out with a paper template that I literally built by taping a bunch of pieces together and it's all you need. It's all I've ever used and it works amazing. And one of the hardest parts about making a leather tote is these things are pretty big. So you need a large section of leather and it has to be without blemish. These hides come off the back of a cow. So they come with scars and brandings and just imperfections throughout the hide. So you have to find a good large area that dodges a lot of these things. Weaver sent me over some of their YKK zippers, and I don't work with zippers a lot, but when you start adding these things into your projects, it really brings your work to the next level. When you're going to install these zippers, do not be a bozo. Double check, triple check. Make sure you've got the zipper lined up correctly on both sides so that the teeth are facing in the same direction and the zipper, when you go to attach it, will zip and unzip your project. Otherwise, like me, I went to record this part, realized I put one on backwards, I had to go in, unstitch it all, take it off, turn it around, and put it all back on. Wasn't the end of the world, but, but yeah, rookie mistake, and don't do what I did. Quick shout out to Weaver Leather Supply as they are the sponsor to this video. They are the best in the business and I encourage you to check out their stuff and use my code to get 10% off. Because this leather is a little bit more soft, I didn't want to use it for the straps. I wanted to use more of a firm leather. So I had a darker brown leather that I had laying around that I used for the straps and I thought it kind of complemented the leather well. One of the goofiest parts about a leather bag that you'll see here is that you actually put the bag together inside out. And then later on, you'll see me flip it and all those nasty seams and edges will be on the inside of the bag. So here we got the edges sewn together and now we have to work on these corners of the bag which can be the trickiest and scariest part of making a leather bag but it's really not that bad especially when you're working with a softer leather with some of the more firm leathers it can be hard to get these corners together and then on your machine especially with a flatbed and that's where a good cylinder arm machine comes into play. But with this soft leather, I didn't even have to remove my flatbed attachment. So here comes the flip, and this is by far one of the most stressful, but also the most satisfying parts of the process. For some reason, for me, it always feels like it's not going to turn out and I'm going to hurt or ruin the bag, but I've actually never done that and it always turns out as planned. 
There's no better feeling when you get that thing turned around and everything just looks right. Also, this is where a really soft leather really comes in hand because working with some of the more firm bags can be such a pain flipping those things inside out. It was so easy with this leather. There are a million ways to install a zipper. For this bag, without a gusset, I thought that this way of doing it was easy, something that anybody could do, and also looks kind of cool. That being said, the edges of the zipper are obviously exposed, so we're gonna take a couple small pieces of leather scrap and glue them onto the ends of the zipper and rivet them down. And these little things are really nice because they also make for great pull tabs when you're opening and closing the bag. All right, you all, thank you if you made it this far. I appreciate you. I hope this video brought you some value. If it did, leave a comment below, let me know. I would uh, much appreciate it. Love being able to interact with you all. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in any of the tools or the materials like this leather that I used in the video, make sure you check out my link in the bio to weaverleathersupply.com. And I have a code with them, Morrison10. It helps me a lot when you use that code. It shows Weaver that you know we're doing something good over here, helping them out you know, while they help me out and while they help you out with the 10% off. So it is much appreciated. Thank you all so much. And I'll see you at the next video.